Okay, what we're going to look at now is we're going to look at a, a, like a catch pressure pass. Um, we catch, uh, I'm trying to keep his shoulders on the ground to spin the points. Um, this is kind of it adapted for more BJJ folk. Um, it works really against, uh, really well against people who like to do upside down guard and pirouette on the shoulders and things. So, I've got some kind of butterfly guard going on against me. Doesn't matter if he's set up or he's not set up or anything. Because like what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to push this one to his backside, while I put this one as though I'm going to go for an Achilles lock. I'm not going to go for an Achilles lock. He's probably thinking I'm going to go for an Achilles lock. It's not what I'm really going for. Okay. So I go here. I control his ankles. If he was wearing wrestling boots, I control the edges of his feet because I can grip them much tighter. But for for barefooted, controlling the ankles is probably better. I push this one to his backside and I drag my head into here and I start to control this leg. All right, everything's tight. My base is really wide. Weights on my head, weights on the balls of my feet. Okay, as uh, Graham tries to get inverted and upside down and stuff to try and recover guard, I can really control his hips really well. He can't triangle me, he can't do anything to me. My weight is on this leg and it's on the ankle as well. So there's nothing he can do there. My shoulder... This shoulder is on this side of this knee. And all I'm going to literally do is I'm going to drive everything over in this direction and force it to the ground. Bring my hips up behind the back of his hips. And I'm in quite a good control position here. I find my underhook. And I take my hip into side control. Yeah. Play with it. It's lots of fun. And, yes, you can take the Achilles lock or the leg lock out of it. It's just a different way of controlling someone's hips. Also stops them kicking you away to a great degree. Um, obviously, never use it in MMA because uh, you punch in the head while you're doing it. So.